I mentioned this matter to speaker that I wanted to invoke order 72 to raise a matter of urgent public importance which is to call on the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Minister for Interior, Minister for Finance to work together to take urgent steps to ensure the safety of Ghanaian students in Ukraine and to work towards the immediate evacuation of Ghanaian students those studying in Ukraine. Mr. Speaker, this we must do to assure the students and their parents that they are Ghanaian and they deserve our support. So it's a matter of urgent public importance. I'm indulging you that we raise this matter because the Minister of Finance must make money readily available to the foreign minister. We do know the number of Ghanaian students in Ukraine. Quite a number stayed in uh, medicine, probably some even sponsored by members of parliament. Mr. Speaker, the situation in Ukraine is very worrying. We won't go into the diplomatic uh, matters related to Ukraine for now until we are guided what Ghana's foreign policy position would be on that matter. But given the situation of uh, a near war, a hot war in uh, Ukraine, and Russia not yielding to the diplomatic maneuvers of the West. As a businessman, I am worried. I am concerned, knowing that the value chain is going to be affected. Imports with costs, duties will cost. And if you look at what is happening to the city, now dollar is moving around a certain figure. Yes. This is about an international catastrophe which is affecting Mother Ghana. And the need for us to take away the politics and now have a new way of thinking to support our government. Because, Mr. Speaker, the call to evacuate Ghanaian citizens from Ukraine will come at a cost. No European country will evacuate our citizens for us. No Ghanaians, no, no European country. NATO will not do that. America will not do that. There is going to be pressure on the limited resources that we have. And as a nation, Ghanaian businesses who are supposed to do well to pay taxes, we, they are going to suffer. Their businesses will not do well the way they expect. Their projections will be affected. That is the reality. And I must bring this to the attention of all of us so that any policy that will be, be brought will be seen in that light. Of course, Honorable Minority Leader, you've not spoken into the Deputy Minority Leader, you've not spoken into the mind. But if you're talking about Inlevy, this is more, the more important reason why we even need it. You are saying you've not spoken into the mind. But if you are talking about the E-Levy, that was the next point I was going to get to, that we should congregate around it and find a way of generating revenue as a country to save the situation because we are not in normal times. Harun Edrisu couldn't have raised this matter at a better time than now. He couldn't have raised this issue at a better time than now. This is a patriotic call from him.